Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another flashlight review, this time from Nightcore. Now this is their brand new, all new, TM39. Now I was sent this by Nightcore directly, comes in this plain box, got a little handle there on it. It's got a simple label here on the top. So let's wait no further, let's open this up, see what's in. back around always nice to see these boxes always well padded and with this padding your light will arrive to you fully intact with no problems we have one user manual here and it's a pretty good size so uh, you've got multi-languages. Now, because this here is a little small on the actual specs, I'm going to go ahead and post them on the screen here for you while I fold this back up. I really like Nightcore's well-detailed user manuals. You have one warranty card here. And you have one wall charger here. And this is a large light. As you can see, this is my hand, pretty big there. You have an extra O-rings. You've got one shoulder strap, which I highly recommend because if you're gonna carry this for long periods of time, putting it on your shoulder helps with that strain on your arms. Make sure there's nothing else down in here. Now, there are two models. The one that I have here, which has got the extended battery pack on it, or there's a regular light version that has a smaller four cell, and you can take those batteries in and out as needed. Now, we'll go ahead and move the box out of the way. Look at that. That's a beefy light. Definitely a dedicated thrower. Now I had done a review on the TM38. I think it was a couple years ago. And uh, was really impressed with that. And uh, so I've been waiting for this for quite a while. Heard it through the designers of their lights letting us know that this was coming out last year and uh, with the new LED in there so it went uh, the TM36 actually had the luminous LED so they kind of went back with that they were able to get the second generation in this one I'm going to show it to you up close I'm rattling on there a little bit sorry battery pack has knurling on it here as you can see now I own three or four of these here I use them all the time on my quad rays now the TM stands for tiny monster got some knurling here a lot of heat sinking huge amount of heat sinking now this here is an actual charging port here on the light itself but you can also take the battery pack off and charge it separately. A tripod area, we can put this on a tripod mount. Now 
and these battery packs are amazing I've been using mine for a long time now they did something different with this this is a newer OLED display but that just looks really beefy style and design on this is very nice now this is pretty heavy this can get pretty heavy after a while I can see why you'd want to have that shoulder strap on this really did away with the basic design on this and really went yeah, they have really went above and beyond on this one because the heat sinking on this is really high tech the machining and finish on this is excellent and try to get closer to the buttons here so I got some fingerprints on the screen there already sorry about that got the power switch here and this is for the display cycle through and let me take this protection piece off here you don't want to run the light with this on it be a little bugger to get off to alright well since I got it up here let's go ahead and take a look here this is running the luminous SBT 90 generation 2 LED let's see if I can get closer now again their TM36 had the luminous in it and that is a real deep reflector on that alright well let's go ahead and take this apart you got straight contact points on the head and you've got the charging ports now here is the rapid charging port so if you have a rapid charging cable that goes on the wall you'll be able to charge this a lot faster which I do have several of those these are little contact areas here and those have little springs that is a little LED that'll blink blue when it's charging and then be solid when it's finished and you've got well greased threads let's go ahead and put this all back together and we've got the night core telling us our voltage right away so right out of the box pretty much charged it's a brand new model I figured it probably would be that's what the voltage looks like turn that on level one of course telling you the runtime and we can go through those light outputs 800 lumens also tells you the temperature of the light there level three level one level two and level three again so 2000 lumens now if you do want turbo course you're going to press and hold that button there that is amazingly bright <laughs> so at this level we can kind of see and remember this is only what 200 lumens that's pretty 
intense beam. That's the lowest light output. Now look at the clarity and the defined hot spot on that. Look at the spill. Man. That's incredible. Okay, now that we went over the display, went over to the light outputs, there's only four levels. Now, if you want to get to the special modes, there's the other power switch down here. You want to double click on that. And we're going to go ahead and do that now. And that'll get you strobe. And as you can see, the display is saying strobe. And that is a fast. And now, on this button here that runs the display, you're going to click on that. And it will now, as you can see, it says SOS. And that's at the full light output. <laughs> yeah. Click that again, we'll get you beacon. And as you can see on the display. Now, the thing I like about this display is incredible upgrade from their previous model is that this can be read from quite a ways away rather than the other ones that have the little smaller little screens on them and we'll go ahead and hit it one more time to go back to strobe or you can hit that power switch to turn it off now you can lock out this light you can press and hold from on and as you see it says lock so now when you go to hit the button it says lock same goes for the other button now to unlock the light you're going to simply press both buttons at the same time light comes back on display lets you know you're back in business you now can go through those light outputs easy as that Locking out the light, definitely want to do it, especially if you're storing it away in your travel bag or anything like that so it doesn't accidentally turn on. Now, also, one other thing is you can quickly access turbo by pressing and holding that switch there. It's a lot of heat on my hand. And that's quick access to that in the spur of the moment that is <laughs> took quite a while for my camera to adjust there sorry about that heat generated by that high highest level is incredible so now in order to get the lowest light output you can press and hold the power switch and that's all there is to this light just a monster design tiny that is looks great hopefully we'll see some nice throw improvement I will let you know when I see it out there so let's wait no further let's take this outside see how it does in the wilderness we are out here in the darkness with the night core TM39. So let's get started. Now 200 lumens at 35 feet is overkill, but we'll start off there anyways. And that this lowest light output it's hitting with playgrounds across the park. Isn't that incredible? There's the other playground there. Tree line, fence line. <laughs> Can't believe how well this is throwing. This low of lumens way out there on those other trees. Now we have a tr palm tree that's extremely far. So hopefully it'll make it to that. 
usually making those trees there as you can see now this tree here behind the tree of life 138 feet here 238 feet here usually making the school as you can see <laughs> insane look at that makes first palm tree and a second one incredible well we're going to try it turning it up to the next level see how it does there's the next level and that laser beam this thing is amazing first palm tree second palm tree Let's see if it'll make it out to that other palm tree. And it's almost there, even at this light output. I can faintly see it next to the lamp out there. <laughs> now I posted all my distances in my group. So You'll be able to look at those in my Facebook group or on my YouTube channel. Posted a little video there as well. Tree line, fence line, what that looks like. Let's go to the next level here, see how it does. That's crazy, man. Super intense spill and hot spot on this thing <laughs> making those trees way out there and those are clear on the other side of the park on the corner end moment of truth here there it is with a palm tree that's the farthest palm tree in my testing area. We're not even on highest output yet. <laughs> Insane. Let it light up the palm trees with these. Look at that. Let's do turbo. I'm going to try it here on the farthest tree in my testing area let's see how it does wow you see that <laughs> and it can go a lot farther that's the farthest tree in my testing area look at that all these other trees are way out there too This is insane. Outstanding beam performance. Do a beam profile. Look at that. Just razor sharp, sheer light output on the spill and the hot spot. Bugs are going wild out here. This is incredible. Look at that. Look at that. First and the second palm trees with these. We'll do a before and after here.
Now I'm feeling this head. It's not getting that hot. It's kind of cool out here. But this thing is just incredible. Aim it on that furthest palm tree. Look at that. Right next to the lamp post. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. What can I say? This thing is an incredible thrower. It blew past everything in my testing field. Unfortunately, I don't have extreme ranges, but I do have very long ranges in my area that I use out there in the wilderness. The park behind my house has some really nice distances in it, but as far as the extreme distances I was unable to do but this thing is an incredible light I don't see any issues with it whatsoever this display is a big improvement over the previous one now I'm not saying as far as the quality of the screen I'm just saying that the size of the screen and a lot of times it was really bright on some of my models now they're easy to read but they were real small so this one here having a bigger screen, a little bit different backlighting on it makes it easier to read, especially in the dark. Even under lighting conditions like this, it's, you can easily read it. Even going through those UI outputs there, you could see that it was easily read. Uh, the TM38 is my favorite thrower. I do have some other smaller throwers, but as far as big throwers. I'm not a huge fan of these dedicated throwers. I'm not, they're not my favorite type of light beam, but if I was going to need one and want one, you definitely want to check out this TM39. Also the Nightcore TM38 or the TM36. I don't have the TM36, but it has the same luminous LED, so that's uh, a real big improvement so this being the size that it is some people wanting to you know carry it for shorter distances might be interested in the lighter version uh, for it to use as regular 418 650s but if you're like me I like having the extended run times on any light that I can especially from Nikkor I use these battery packs quite a bit especially on my TM26 GT, which is my all-time favorite light. Now this is an expensive light, just to let you know. They run just under $500, but I do have a special discount code through the nightcorestore.com, and I will leave a link and my discount code down in the description, just in case you might want to get this or the light version. It's up to you. But this is a complete kit, comes with everything you need. Kind of wish they had a holster for this or some type of carrying bag for the light that this size is to protect it. So I am suggesting that to Nightcore, if you could make a bag like this that will fit these bigger lights with the packs on them. Maybe something, you know, with the battery pack, an extra one on the side, something, even a, maybe a backpack for people that want to carry their lights in or store them like I do. But in any case, you can go to Amazon. They do have their Amazon Basics storage cases and those are ABS plastic and you can cut the inserts there or pull, pull them out to size it up. And I've done that on quite a few lights. So the bottom line is this thing does not fail to impress and uh, the night shots prove that well that's it for me I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please share like and subscribe that way I can bring more of these lights from Nikkor to you in the future thanks for watching take care